NOAA just dropped the report. There it is on February's wild weather that we've had. Uh, so here's what we learned. A parade of Pacific storms brought record amounts of rain and snow to California, and we're still airing stories about that. And they got more on the way. But this did cut the state's drought footprint in half, which, which is huge. you could look at that as like a very, Massive. very good thing. Yeah. And on February 3rd and 4th, a polar vortex accompanied with crazy winds caused wind chill at New Hampshire's Mount Washington to drop to 108 oh, below zero. I, I don't that. even understand, right? Can't the coldest cold wind chill ever recorded in the United States. And then we got to talk about the severe weather. We had a tornado outbreak toward the end of the month, which caused 11 confirmed tornadoes in Oklahoma. That's the highest number of February tornadoes for the state since the year going back to 1950. And, of course, some of us still playing cleanup to some of the severe weather that we yeah. had, too. But you had this big, you know, shift in, like, these big cold systems out west that then traversed to the east. And meanwhile, here in the south, we're sneezing from allergies already because it's been so warm. And there's just been this big contrast. Yeah, we've had a huge pattern that we've been stuck in where everything's coming in on the west coast, bringing a lot of snow to the Midwest. You're getting gypped in the northeast. Yes, and in are. the south, it has been, there was at one point a week or two ago, it was, like, nine of the ten last Last weeks there was severe weather. We almost had 10 weeks in a row in January and yes, February right. where we had severe weather. It was only one week where we didn't have that risk. 